All right, my everyday makeup tutorial. It's been a while since I did a updated makeup tutorial, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing that I do is curl my lashes. This is the Tarte Lash Curler that I really, really love. If I am going to do a wing liner or eyeshadow, I would typically do that first before I curl my lashes, but today I'm just gonna do a natural like mascara look, so that's why I didn't do it. I'm not gonna do the eyeliner today, but this is the uh, liquid eyeliner I use. This is the Stila liquid eyeliner. I love it. I've been using it for a couple years. It's a good one. Um, it has like a nice felt point tip. So this is why people put their hands up. Next, I am going to do foundation. So this is definitely my favorite foundation I have ever used, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. If you are my skin tone, I got the Six Warm Shod, C-H-A-U-G, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I personally like to put it on my skin first and then use a beauty blender and then just blend it in. This foundation is like so good. It literally keeps your skin looking perfect all day long and it just like looks flawless. It is a full coverage foundation, which I personally love. I know people always tell me like, why do you cover up your freckles? But I just like them covered up and just have been using a full coverage foundation since like the very beginning. So I can't live without it. Next, for my concealer, I have been using a Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is the light beige color. Um, I really like it. I also do love Tarte's um, Shape Tape. I'm going to put it under my eyes. I look like a crazy person. <laughs> and then we blend. Blend, blend, blend. I put a little bit of concealer or foundation on my lips because my lips are so like naturally very dark and red. So like when I put like a light nude lip color, I feel like it doesn't look as good. So I always like to put a little bit of like concealer and foundation just Okay, next let's contour. I use the same um, Too Faced Born This Way concealer. The shade is Honey, so it's a little bit darker. Okay. Next, I am going to use the Born This Way setting powder. I also love the Laura Mercier translucent powder as well. To be honest, I don't love using a ton of setting powder because I personally do don't like my skin too matte. Um, I like that dewy look, and so I don't use a ton of translucent powder. I'm gonna about that much. I'm gonna put it under my eye. And I like push it in so it sets. Okay, so next, after I put my foundation on and everything, I'm gonna just like let it sit and set. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I hate doing my eyebrows. I'm not a pro at it. I'm not good at it. I don't. I actually don't even enjoy it. Um, but this is what I use and this is what I do for my brows. I use the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Brow Definer. All right, so this is the tip. So it's a little thicker. And I use the color taupe because I don't like my brows like super dark. I like them to look natural. And this is like a natural shade for me. So, and let's do this. Also, don't look at my brows very closely because I need to get them done so bad. But what I do is I start here and I create that arch and just fill it in and then I work here. So, 
and I always start at the bottom like this and then just bring it up gradually. Okay, next is blush. I use the Patrick Ta She's Seductive uh, blush and it is such a pretty mauve color. Um, I don't like it super pink. I don't like it super red. Um, this is like a really, really pretty, like I said, mauve color. So, obsessed. And I like never go like this because I feel like it kind of like wipes off everything that you just did. So I like to like just pat it in and just add more at, depending on like my look that I'm going for. If I'm going like very warm looking, I add more blush. And with the last little bit of blush that I have on my brush still, I kind of just like go right here and just add a little bit of blush to add that warmth. What do we think? Okay, and then I'm going to use highlighter this is the becca opal highlighter i have been using this for years and i'm obsessed it's like a really pretty goldy highlighter um such a pretty color just use the same brush i'm very lazy when it comes to brushes guys i just use like literally two um and i just put it right here blend it in right here like I go like a little ab I go a little above where my blush is. So we're like right here. And then I also right here along my nose, the bridge of my nose. And then keep it though. Okay. And then of course right here the arch of your brows. Okay, so for mascara, I use the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I love this mascara, especially because I have like pretty fine, like uh, sparse Asian lashes and this brush really helps it. I really, really love this one. Okay. like let it sit for a little bit and then if I want my lashes to look extra thick I use the Tarte Big Ego mascara um, to add more volume so it's like a thicker brush perfect mm. and then lip color um for my everyday nude I either like MAC blankety lipstick that one has been like my favorite nude for years and i swear it looks good on everyone but i can't find it right now so i'm going to do my other everyday nude i'm going to do the lip liner first this is patrick taz mm, what is it called oh she's proud And then I'm going to wear the um, Patrick Ta again. His She's unapolo Unapologetic Lip Color. I can't say that. I mess that word up every time. All right, so that is it. That is my everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's pretty simple, I think, um, but it's like a good natural 
everyday makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed it.